going to show you how to inoculate mini preps with a single colony from a transformation. The first thing that we have to do is we have to prepare some LB broth with a desired antibiotic. I'm going to inoculate a few mini preps. It's going to require 6.4 milliliters of LB spectinomycin. I'm going to make just a little bit extra. It's always good to have just a little bit extra. My tube has a clear line at 7.5 ml, so I'm going to go to the 7.5 ml line. And I'm going to add 7.5 microliters of um, 1000x spectinomycin to this LB. a little bit in the vortex. And I'm going to inoculate um, two kind of different growth vessels. I'm going to inoculate two mil tubes and I'm going to inoculate a standard uh, 14 to 15 mil culture tube. The two mil tubes can, can hold a maximum of 1.7 um, milliliters. I'm going to pipe that um, 1.7 milliliters into each of these tubes. And I'm going to, I want to grow a 3 mil culture in this tube. So I'm going to put 3 mils in that. In that. It could be desirable to use a single pipette to pipette the entire three mils, but to save money, these um, one mil tips are cheaper and we don't have to be extremely exact in volume of growing um, a mini prep culture. So. so the procedure is slightly different um, for inoculating both, um, both types of vessels. Here we, have, here we have our plate that we're going to inoculate from. And in this plate, you can see we have blue-white selection. Blue colonies still have the LAC-Z insert and they don't have our new insert. So we want to avoid the, the dark blue colonies and pick only the white colonies. Um, there's only a few dark blue colonies. And the way that we're going to inoculate the the two mil tubes, is we're going to find a well-isolated colony. We're going to put a pipette tip on a um, P200, and we're going to scrape off one well-isolated white colony so that we can see it. So I, I no longer see it on the plate, and I got it onto this tip. And then we're going to come over to our, our two mil tube, and we're going to pipe it up and down a few times until you see the bacteria move into that tube. And so, some people will tell you that you really only need to touch the bacteria to the colony and then touch it to your culture and that's good enough. That's not really true. It's always best to see bacteria move into your growth vessel. The mini prep is then guaranteed to grow and grow well. Let's do it again for this other guy. So I'm gonna find another well isolated colony. I'm gonna find this colony right here. I'm going to scrape that off, and there we got it on the tip, and we're going to once again pipe it up and down a few times until the bacteria, you can see it fly into the, into the two mil tube. All right, those guys are inoculated. For inoculating this kind of tube, we could do the same thing, but I'm going to show you another way that we could inoculate, and that involves a little bit of flaming, so we're going to get our burner going. I have some forceps that are in ethanol. I coat those with 95% ethanol and light them on fire to sterilize them. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here to this pipette box and I'm going to grab one of the pipette tips with it. So now I'm touching it with a sterile 
the sterile forceps. We're going to come, come here and find another well isolated colony. I'm going to pick this, this one right here. Scrape that off. And in this case, as long as we saw it, I'm just going to drop it in there. And then close that. To the first click, it should be loose so there's air. And that's it. We have now inoculated um, our mini preps. All right, now that we've inoculated our mini preps, we have to take these cultures over to the 37 degree shaker and shake them overnight at 37 degrees and around 300 RPMs would be optimal. And that individual bacteria colony, which was a pure culture of one plasma molecule, is then going to reproduce you know, millions of times so that we, we have a large um, population of the identical plasma molecule that we'll harvest in a mini prep tomorrow. Thank you for watching.